So we've got the hook panel to go on, or the hook board to go on, and I've had a change of heart, uh, you'd be pleased to know, and I will explain to you how to build the hook as well. Um, it might be interesting for you to see how that thing was created. So I'll flick over to the other one, and the hook board that we've got is just a 100 by 19, and they've got a 10 by 2 groove taken out the top and bottom. And then this is a different kettle of fish altogether. I will explain how I made all these bits and pieces. Okay, so it did take a little while to, to knock it up. Um, if I go into my, well, there's no materials been applied to that, but uh, basically I'll show you what the hook is as well and how to create something similar. So this is easy. That's um, sort of easy, but uh, you need to plan ahead for this. It's not made of lots of bits and pieces, which I'll go into in detail next. So let's get, um, we'll go onto the hooks level uh, layer and I'll just draw a 100 comma 19 and then on that I've got a 10 by 2 groove to put in so click there and we're going um, 10 comma 2, that's not right, I said it and 10 comma 2 enter so then e for arrays just erase those bits don't want those and don't want those and i'll right click i'll make a component and we'll call it hook hook base create i can then move this into position don't really know where the ideal height for a hook thing is but uh, we'll just pop it in somewhere in that Back corner, slick it on there. Ooh, it's not sticking to the, not finding the um, the uh, snap points. So X for X-ray finds them then. And then once we've got that, we can turn off X-ray and we can just track along to this back edge. So we've got it in the right position. Double click, P for push pull, and then drag out to this edge. You don't need to see exactly where you're going. Just use inferencing and trust it. And then we can bring this down say about 150 I guess something like that now these three should be uh, the same width now what I've done here I've just selected this and I'm using the move tool so M on the keyboard tap control key so I see that little plus sign and all I'm doing is I don't want to pick any bit on that I'll just pick some point on this edge and as long as I'm going on the uh, red axis, I can hold the thing on the shift key and then I can move that to this edge and I know that's going to be in the right position so let's just check that and if I see a line there that's perfect so I can then go 2x enter and that will create a third one of those so that was very very simple not so simple is the hook and I will discuss that in the next video